Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Barret's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap, not yet sprung. Barreth believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barreth's suspicions? Owen is the Abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a friend. You mean a pagan. Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flawn is not convinced. You must pull out a clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barreth McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barreth. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen... What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. They're under attack! Come on! them off at a great cost. Eivor, where is Barith? Barith! Can you hear me?
Have you seen King Varith? I He was headed towards the farm on the edge of the village. A cold hand that grips my heart. Varith! <coughs> Varith. Eivor. I'm here. A glorious end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Except you, cousin. You, you never doubted me. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barret. I'll see to it. <coughs> Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Sifrith is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. will be done. The hero's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. But fear. He saw more clearly than I. And I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north? What of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. <sighs> we'll throttle the snake. And afterward... The fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Siegfried's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Siegfried. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet.
Eivor! We will march upon Armagh immediately. This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into a man like a berserker, they will crucify you like their Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot. Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flon. High King will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who's supplying them all? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish you a good hunt. If there is nothing more, my king, I will return to my shop. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can and join them to Flans. Together we will avenge my father. You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men will follow. Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amar, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amar? We do, thanks to Sigfrith. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told him of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. You cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them... If I may, I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well. 
to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they're all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about my past. The past is past, and not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. It's good to see you take command. It suits you. It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. When battle is done, you can move on to what you like. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. There are worse fates than being a king. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Sigfrith, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man, but he lacks his father's seasoning. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord, in the court and on the field. Come, let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes, Owen must answer for his actions. Fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right. We have no other choice. Breach that gate. The bridge is down. My Norsemen are ready. Right across. Man. To me, oh, strength. The Lord is 
my strength! <gasps> Leave this house of God, Flanchina. Or be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are everywhere. Even in your court. Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess. But she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flon. He tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. 
you lie, devil. <laughs> Love conceals blemish and evil. It's easy to lose sight when you're following a woman's backside. <sighs> There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot! shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, Devon. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you about the children of Dan. What other secrets does she keep? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words, Lord. Don't let them in. <sighs> Could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. If she was part of that cult, she isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, this fetid air befouls my thoughts. Let us step out into God's cleansing light. It is a beautiful land. We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. <laughs> they will sing of the High King who cleansed the church at Armagh, and the King of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered. The living and the dead. <laughs> 